Hi there, Blaze here and in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you what is tilemap in Godot and how you can use it in your project. In this video we will be creating tilemap in Godot, then we will assign animated tile set into this tilemap and also we will learn how to use auto tiles and how to use tiles bigger than one per one. At the end I will also show you how to use layers in the tilemap, so let's begin. We will start with creating new project. I will use mobile renderer but that doesn't matter, you can use whatever you want. Okay, so here is our simple empty project we will use 2d so let's switch to the 2d view and i will also import uh, my assets i have props and tiles i will import them into the resources folder and let's create new scene 2d scene node 2d and now we are ready to begin okay so let's start with creating tile map we will add new node and search for tile map here in the tile map inspector we have tile set i made fonts a little bigger so you will easily see what is written here we have a tile map and in the inspector we go to the tile set and we can create a new tile set by clicking this empty file and clicking new tile set and now here at the bottom of the editor we have tile set and tile map tabs here in the tile set when you click on this you can change the tile size i have my props and tiles with the resolution 16 by 16 so this is correct so let's start with importing terrain tiles uh, in this pop-up window if you choose yes all the tiles will be automatically split but if you want to use animated tile set i want to go with now we will create this manually so let's set up these tiles by clicking on them we need to click on the, all of them and let's remove these empty tiles okay so we have our basic tiles created now we want to create the animation and as you can see i have this sprite sheet split into the two frames because here i have my first frame and here i have second frame and those are corresponding to the tiles i have here if you want to create more frames you need to set them uh, as the next column you cannot create another frames at the bottom of this at the bottom you need to place them next to it so the sprite sheet could be really big in the meaning of the width okay so let's select first tile and we need to do this with the select tool so we need to click this select and select the tile and now if we want to use the animation we need to choose this animation here and in the columns we need to set how many frames we want to use with this animation i have two frames so i need to select two columns columns and here's come the tricky part because we need to set the separation and the separation is how many tiles are separating this frame and the next one frame and uh, we can count them so the separation is eight frames eight tiles to be exact now when we go to the frames and click add element oops i need to set this in the x axis not y axis okay so let's go with eight on the x axis at element and now this tile is no more grayed out because this means that this tile will be used uh, also with this this one so if you select this tile you will also select this second tile and that means that the animation is created successfully you don't need to set animation patterns for each tile one by one you can select all of them by dragging you can also use shift to select more now when you have all selected go to the animation select two columns write your separation here and click add element and now all tiles have two frames so if we go to the tile map this is the place uh, where we get the tiles and place them on the on our scene you can select this tile by clicking one of the frames you can select first frame or second frame and now if we will draw this we will have this animated one more thing i need to change go to the project and uh, to the rendering and textures and i need to change this filter to the nearest because this is pixel art so we don't want to use filter to draw this okay so this is how you can use animated tile set in godot now we want to use auto tiles because as you can see i draw some of them but to be precise i need to change any of this to something else to look properly but uh, this can be annoying if you have too many tiles so let's start with auto tiles and auto tiles are based on terrains for example we have four terrains here we have water here we have sand grass and something i'll call hill so we have four terrains and i want to just draw the terrain and i want these edges to be applied automatically by the godot so to do this go to the tile set as we are here go to the tile map and to the tile set here in the inspector and in the terrain sets add element match them by corners and side corners or by sides uh, i will show you the difference let's switch to the point and let's draw terrains and now we can select this terrain set zero okay here we go so i have match corners and sides 
selected and this tile is separated into nine pieces. If we go to the match corners, this, this tile will be separated into four big pieces and one center. And we can also go with match sides and then we have another type of separation by four big elements and one center. What is the difference? You need to use it depending on how your tile set is looking. My tile set is the best prepared to the match corners and sides because as you can see I have nine segments and each of these segments maybe this is in the bed tile to show you this but let's go with corner. I have corner. Here I have a little bit of sand. Here I have water and here are my connector between sand and the water. If you have tile set drawn this way that the connector takes almost entire tile you will probably want to use this match corners or sides. You need to test this uh, with your tile set. But okay let's use match corners and sides and let's create terrains and we will go with water, grass, sand go here and the last one hill. You can also select the color. The color should be unique because this will tell you which turn is used on this tile. So let's go on the water. We can set a blue. Sand is okay. Grass can be a little brown. Okay, can be. And the hill hill can be for example red. This will be better visible. Okay so here we go with terrain and let's start with hill because hill is the highest of uh, my terrain. Let's select all the hills here. Let's select in the paint tool terrain set zero terrain hill and let's color every tile which contains hill. Okay, as you can see, the hill is drawn by the red color, so all the colored terrain is hill. But there are also some corners and we need to also set this center tiles. I will go with hill. If something goes wrong, uh, you can then change this to the grass, but probably if you're starting from the hill and going to the uh, bottom, if you have tiles drawn the same way I have, you will want to set the hill as the center. Let's color this as hills also. As you can see, these brown parts also are, are the hill so this is uh, correct in my case and the same here here is the hill and the rest of this is not the hill but the grass so let's color the grass and the grass is this uh, brown yellow brown color let's color the rest as the grass and we also want to select grass on these tiles and the same way as we go to the hills I want to select all the fully grassed elements and also the corners will be also the grass. Now do the same to the sand. Oops, I can change this color because it's not as good visible. The pink color will be better. So this is the sand and the sand is also here. If you want to remove this color, you can click this with the right button of your mouse. This is also good to know. And the last terrain is water and let's color the water. Okay here it is. So now we have our terrain sets set and we have set our terrains in the painting. Okay so let's switch to the tile map and to the terrain tab. We have terrain sets zero and now let's say we want to draw the water and let's draw a rectangle. Okay we have water but nothing special we can do this also without auto tile. Let's draw this a little bigger but now when we want to add sand we can add this by creating a rectangle here and as you can see you don't need to set the edges manually because the edges are created automatically by Godot because we configured the edges to wall this way. Now let's go with grass. If you will try to put the grass on the water this will happen because this is not configured to switch from water to the grass because we don't have tiles uh, which switch from the water to the grass. We need to use the sand here so let's put more sand here. Let's create a little island here. Okay and on the island we want to use some grass. This is not correct because we are too close to the edge. But we can change this a little. Let's go here, create a grass, more grass here. And at the top of the grass we want to put some hills also. Okay, so with auto tile creating terrains really really easy because you can just select the terrain and Godot will set all the edges and corners by itself. Okay, now I want to show you how to use tiles bigger than one by one. And to do this we will use our props PNG. So so let's go to the tile set and drag and drop these props here. Again we can use no because I want to create bigger tiles. Clicking yes will create uh, these tiles separated and this is not what I want to do so let's click no. And now we need to set all the tiles. These small tiles are probably easy. You're just clicking on them and creating tiles. But for this this is three per two tiles big. To create the big one tile containing all the elements you need to hold the shift and with clicking shift you drag over the entire tile. And now you have a big tile, the same for this, 3 per 2. And here I have trees. Trees are one tile width with two tiles.
cactus hi so let's create the trees cactuses and palms also okay we also want to make this animated so we do this the same way as the earlier so i select this create uh, animation two columns separated by three probably add element and yes here we are okay so let's let's switch to the tile map and let's say switch to the tiles and let's say we want to create a tree let's create this here because this is the empty space i will show you later why but when you click the tree the tree will be created and also for others but as you can see they are slightly misaligned and this is because we don't set origin these small tiles are adjusted okay but these bigger ones need to be configured a little so let's back to the tile set uh, select this big tile and maybe you see this this is really thin square this square represents the origin this origin is at the center of this so when we're creating this this is created on the center okay so let's back to the tile set and move the origin a little we need to go to the select rendering and here we have a texture origin we want to move this 16 pixels to the left and 8 pixels to the bottom and the same for this and for all the trees because they are the same size you can set this simultaneously so we just want to move this 8 pixels to the bottom and now as you can see they are aligned to the grid and creating new will create this new oasis in our grid three uh, by two parts okay but we want to create our trees on our island but if i click this will happen this is because we have only the one layer on this tile map we can create terrain or props but they cannot be used simultaneously to use this simultaneously and to place props like trees on the backgrounds we need to use layers and to use layers we need to go to the tile map inspector and we need to scroll down to the layers click on this and you will probably have one layer here this is unnamed layer but let's name this background and let's create a new layer and name it props and now when you go to the tile map on the bottom of the editor here you have background or you can change this to the props as you can see changing the layer gray out another element so we know that this is placed on the background and now if we click props we will create these new tiles on the props layer so we can for example place some palms here trees here and we also can use the big forest here and here okay now it have sense you can switch also to the background again and change the terrains uh, for example by creating more water here and that's all for today we have created our terrain by using tile map hope it helps hit the thumbs up and write a comment below if you have any questions see you soon in another video bye